Welcome to Sean Story. Story time videos for kids every day of the week. Today's story is Howard B. Wigglebottom Learns About Bullies by Howard Binko. Sunday night, Howard B. Wigglebottom could not fall asleep. He was very scared. He could hear a little voice in his head. Be brave. Be bold. A teacher must be told. He knew that tomorrow morning, he would once again come face to face with the scary... Fist punching, name calling, worm whipping, tongue wagging, foot stomping, snorting twins. The snorting twins were, you guessed it, push you down, steal your lunch, make you eat worms. The worst kind of bullies. That is, when no teacher was looking, of course. The snortins felt big and important when they made others feel small and scared. Howard was tired of feeling small and afraid all the time. The little voice in his head said again, Be brave, be bold. A teacher must be told. Howard didn't tell anyone. He was too afraid of being called a tattletale or a snitch. Even worse, he was scared about what the snorting twins might do to him. Be brave, be bold. A teacher must be told. On Monday, Howard thought, I will wear my cloak that makes me invisible. When I walk right past them, they will never see me. I'll be okay. I'll be safe. But on Monday, the Snorton twins bullied him and ate his lunch. Be brave. Be bold. A teacher must be told. On Tuesday, Howard thought, I will wear my special shoes. I will run like the wind high above the trees. The Snortons will never catch me. I'll be okay. I'll be safe. But on Tuesday, it was not very windy. The Snorton twins bullied him, ate his lunch, and took his shoes. Be brave. Be bold. A teacher must be told. On Wednesday, Howard thought, I will wear my jacket, which transforms me into Robo Rabbit with superpowers. I'll twirl and hurl them up into outer space. I'll be okay. I'll be safe. But on Wednesday, the Snorton twins bullied him, ate his lunch, and took his jacket. Be brave. Be bold. A teacher must be told. On Thursday, Howard thought, I will wear my funny hat and be Howard the Hilarious. Mr. Funny Bunny, I will use my quick wit and make them like me. I'll be okay. I'll be safe. But on Thursday, the Snorton twins didn't think he was all that funny or smart. They bullied him, ate his lunch, and took his hat. By Friday, Howard was hungry, tired, and out of ideas. He decided he would give the twins whatever they wanted and just try not to get hurt. On the way to school, Howard overheard the twins arguing and fighting. Give me the shoes and the jacket. You said I could wear them, shouted Norton Snorton. No, I didn't. Here, take the hat, you stubby-legged short boy, yelled his sister. I'm not short, Norton Snorton yelled back. Standing on its tiptoes. Yes, you are, she yelled back, puffing out her chest, hands on hips, looking down on her brother. The Snorton twins puffed and puffed their chests so huge that they floated up in the sky like balloons. Howard watched in amazement as the two drifted away. 
He could barely hear them calling each other names as he skipped all the way to school. Okay, okay. Howard's imagination did get the best of him. On Friday, what really happened was the Snorton twins beat each other up, and they didn't notice Howard at all. By the time he got to school, Howard knew what he had to do for his sake and for the Snortons. The voice in his head had been right all along. Be brave. Be bold. My teacher must be told. And so, Howard told his teacher, who told the principal, who told Mr. and Mrs. Snorton. On Friday night, while the Snorton twins were in big, big, big trouble and learning an important lesson, Howard snuggled into bed and whispered softly to himself. I was brave and bold when my teacher was finally told. I am okay. I am safe. Then he drifted off into a deep, peaceful sleep. She sat on Rooster's birthday cake. Oh, no. <laughs> Share it, share it, share it.